Boop. Let's go check the lighting. Alright. How fly am I looking? Pre fly? Pre fresh? Rock on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just seeing how the lighting is in this forest. That's pretty much all I wanted to check up on. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, uh. Just wanna talk about a few herbs to keep this clip. Let's call it a, a beautiful artistic. The word art is, you know, a little too used these days. It's, uh, you know, art should be the first thing that you learn. That's the main thing in, in school. In kindergarten, of course, you learn some, but slowly and slowly it becomes, you know, more segregated into, um, you know, different blocks and all that nonsense uh, in my my best uh, you know kind of judgment and thoughts of it it's just a lot of nonsense but anyways let's get to the main topic here this is a as you can see it looks like a little bell or a little eh, or actually it looks like a bell if it's pointed up like that or it looks more like a, I don't know, a turnip when you turn it down but anyways, this is a salmon berry, and salmon berry is very good for um, a lot of things. It has a very pink, uh, deep pink fuchsia colored flower, and I'm just mentioning this because this is one of my favorites. It's uh, very palatable. Here, I'll show you. It's very good for you. It has a lot of vitamins in it, which is actually um, the main point I'm wanting to make in this video to use because vitamins that people are getting these days say if you buy it off the shelf sure you'll get some good vitamin a but the vitamin c and all the other vitamin profiles the e it's it's not active it's not in its uh proper enzymatic you know form as you see all the colors in various uh, greens and stuff that you encounter in nature those are living vitamins that are vital for your, your living ability without them you would not be alive <laughs> just like without mitochondria and you know the center of a lot of seeds and stuff you would not be alive as well so anyways these are actually kind of minty so if you if you compare this one to blackberries, I say blackberries actually taste better, right? But these ones are kind of like the more, mm, the more mild, and uh, they don't usually grow as rapacious as the uh, blackberry. And yeah, just also be careful when you use when you use these seeds because there's a lot of them in one. In one budding of a flower and so you can spread them scatter them around and you know plant them in places that you think that are the be beneficial for their own um, you know grouping or that makes sense right you don't want to just scatter you know a bunch of seeds randomly in a new in a new spot right or in a spot that doesn't have good soil and whatnot. so yeah that's my little gist on using salmon berry which has a golden golden type of berry it's not very it's not too sweet it's kind of a like i was describing for a mild flavor similar to the leaves itself and if you see the stems the stems see right here after a year or two they go more like brown and hard which is this one's probably one years old and then those are harder to use you could probably use those in teas and so you could just like you know take a part off it usually peels easier at the joint, see? When it, regarding plants, see? They're meant to come off at the joints like that. Because they're almost like gifts, the gifts of the plant. The base and everything that the plant needs, like the roots are on the bottom, right? And those are, you should leave those alone. And then all the other parts are basically the, the plant's love of, of uh, spreading its seed right and what else is it going to mention so i mentioned salmonberry blackberry and there's a bunch of other herbs here that i see 
and obviously there's pines and stuff, but uh, there's more arcane, or you could say less less known of herbs that look kind of like parsley or something like that. And these ones are are probably also uh, yeah, they're decent. But once again, I recommend do not ever use, if you've never used a green herbal substance, do not use more than one of the leaves or anything because your body may not be adapted to it. So that's one point I have to keep repeating so that people really, uh, you know, get the gist and get the, uh, you know, <laughs> the knowledge of how to use herbs because if you don't, know how to use it in the right proportion and once again your body chemistry your stomach you know will be kind of like maybe a little queasy and just say you eat a diet based on uh, you know something that's more acidic if you eat like uh, pickled eggs or something like that which I do love too I've had them before I love you know hard boiled eggs and all that that's all good but when your body has something that's maybe a little more high on the pH scale that's a bitter around eight or nine you know then there's gonna be a little um, disharmony before there's the balance and the the proper synergy that you want for your body to uh, to function optimally right so those are things I'm gonna I guess uh, leave people to ponder with and once again I did not plan this out just kind of uh, on the flow, you know. Uh -uh. They're spitting on the go with the flow, yeah. You know, I sip my seeds <laughs> until I blow because I know how to stow and save, yeah. I do it fast like a rave. <laughs> no, I'm not usually a, a guy that rushes things, but, anyways. So yeah, I, I recommend and encourage people to experiment with different herbs, you know, and you'll be, uh, you know, having a six pack like me, no time, you know. <laughs> no, I don't have a six pack, but I do have uh, the, uh, the startings of something like that. So it's good to always have a kind of goal and want to be aspiring to like a new level of, uh, of you could say health and your own, uh, your own energetic well-being and it's really important to keep coming up with more abilities to uh, you know enjoy the uh, all the things of you know mother nature that because she wants you always to to do well you know as things come and go, like things that maybe I shouldn't say come, as some organizations and that are nefarious and not good, uh, may be using some toxic things. Then, of course, Mother Nature is gonna clean them out uh, in various ways, eventually, in one way or another, and uh, people find new ways to be uh, more in good. Uh, and harmony and kind of balance and flow as you become more wise and yeah that's pretty much all I have to say I am going to partake of these little sprouts and once again these are bordering salty bitter so if you think of like the range of things that you can taste or sense on your tongue there's about five right in your nose there's plus that there's like eight plus right of your eyes you can see supposedly there's a color spectrum of seven but actually there's 72 plus there's way more than just seven that's what we're taught in elementary school and what else and then of course the sensual things of, of the body you know as like you know you feel down down uh, and uh, the leggings and uh, you know the roots of the body that's uh, pretty simplistic and it's made to be simplistic so 
you know, living is enjoyable, pleasurable, and sensual. Sensual being a more feminine kind of word. Pleasurable being the, the male masculine, right? Ability to uplift and procreate. Anyways, I think that's it for now. Ooh, these are kind of bitter. But, honestly, your body will thank you. As the expression goes, Ugh, can't talk with these. Dripping their uh, seeds and sauce and juiciness in my mouth. But yeah, be careful with how much you uh, take. And enjoy the woods. Enjoy the oxygen of wherever you are, you know. You need the oxygen to live. Whether that's from a woman or you know, mother nature. Okay, that's enough for now. Peace out.